With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. According to Bohr's theory, the time averaged magnetic field at the center of a hydrogen atom due to the motion of electron in nth orbit is proportional to. So if I talk about electron revolving revolving in a circle, right? So because of the revolution, electric electricity will generate, right? So let's suppose this is the circle in which the electron is revolving, and this is the electron. And radius of the circle is R. So this is the radius. Okay. So if the electron will revolve around the circle of radius R, then the current will induce. Right. What will be the current? We know that the current is I is Q by T, where T is the time period, right? So I will write the time period is 2 pi r by v. Simple, so just put the value of capital T here. So we will get current induced is equals to 2 pi r this, right? Now if the current is into, into, induced here, right, then the magnetic field will be uh, there at the center of this circle. Right. And we know that because of a circular current carrying loop, the magnetic field at the center is mu naught i by 2r. Right. Now we know that the current is this. So just put this value of current to know the magnetic field at the center. So mu naught, so mu naught here is permeability of free space and r is the current so just put the value of current here so the current is qv by 2 pi r so this is into 2r so this will be the magnetic field right so bring the constant outside so mu naught q by 4 pi all these are constant so in bracket you will get this now we know that the magnetic field is proportional to V by R, right? Now we know that the velocity is inversely proportional to principal quantum number and the radius is directly proportional to N square. So just put them here, right? So if you see this expression, the B naught is proportional to V and inversely proportional to r square so i will write b naught is proportional to so v is here so i will write 1 by n now r square right so r square is what r square is proportional to n to the power 4 so i will write n to the power 4 right so now you can see the b naught is directly proportional to 1 upon n to the power 5. So this will be the proportionality relation of the time averaged magnetic field at the center right with the principal quantum number n. Now you can see option 4 is the correct one. So this was our question and we wanted the proportionality relation between time averaged magnetic field at the center and principal quantum number and we got that the magnetic field at the center is directly proportional to 1 upon n to the power 5. Simple. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.